Hello, good morning, this is Diecast Loon. I hope you're all doing well today. And um, today's video is going to be uh, a bit of a major showcase, some unboxings and some uh, other little bits like that. Um, I mentioned a few videos back, I think, in the last major unboxing that I did, that I would be doing this um, caravan combination at some point. So we'll be getting into that in a second, and then we're going to take a look at some older pieces. I've got an older piece that I'm going to unbox as well, and I think that'll be about it. But anyway, let's get straight into it. So, as I said, I have I did show this briefly that I was going to unbox it at some point. Um, I do actually have this casting already, but I wanted it because of the caravan. Um, I am a caravan collector funnily enough I I do I've actually got some more major caravans coming I've ordered so I need to read all that basically I was just looking for a copyright date I think it's from 2020 I'll, I will leave what it is in the video at the bottom um, but the caravans that I've ordered are more vintage stuff um, it's really funny because my Majorette collection was non-existent a few months ago and now I've got a fine vintage collection coming on and a fine modern Majorette collection coming on. I must have about 30 pieces to my modern collection, which is not a lot compared to some people I know, but it's pretty cool for me. It's coming on and my vintage collection is catching up, which is what I'm more interested in. But anyway, so let's see if we can... So this is the Volkswagen Beetle with its little caravan on the back and let's separate the two and as as you know with most major modern majorettes uh, as with older majorette there's usually always a tow hitch so if you don't want to have this on display you don't have to but let's have a little look as you can this one has an opening part with not much on the bonnet but that doesn't matter but very cool nonetheless, the usual majorette suspension. And then there is the caravan, and this is quite a weighty little piece. Um, it's a metal and plastic base combination, and it doesn't have any suspension, or at least I don't think it does. And you can see that it has got darkened glass, but it is see-through. Uh, let's see if we open this door up, which is very stiff now why is that is it going to open anymore yes it's just stiff and I can't see much in there but you have to take my word for it there is stuff inside but that is a cool little piece nonetheless and now the door's opened a, that's better yeah it's just just got that new sort of stiffness but anyway so that is pretty cool so like i said i have got more um caravans coming i've ordered a couple off of ebay that are, that are vintage pieces it has a little wheel there but like i said it's the weight the weight is pretty cool and have i got any other major pieces to hand i can show as right there's an is an older piece here you go. This is a Land Rover 90, Defender 90, and this is from the 200 series. I have shown this before. This is one of my favourite pieces I have. Um, and it is from about the late 80s, possibly early 90s. But I just wanted to show that obviously this does have a tow hitch, so you can very gently, if I can do it, can I do it? There you go. It's just a bit stiff. So obviously, like I said, you can you can connect it to whatever you like. So that but like I said, and again, another no, that doesn't have a tow itch. So like they said, they don't all have tow itches, but majority of them do. But anyway, so that is the Volkswagen Beetle with its little caravan, which again should just pop on so that is that so that is a pretty cool little piece and in the matching color too 
or at least pretty much matching colour, yeah, it is. And then the next piece that I'm going to open is, again, this is from the Majorette team, and it just says uh, 247 Toyota Celica, so it's just the number, uh, 200 series, and this is a piece that I actually got from uh, Phil from Diecast for you to see sent me this knowing that I like the uh, older Majorette. Actual fact, Phil sent me the the pieces that are in my collection that are the favourite. Is, is, is funny enough, has come from Phil. He sent me the my favourite pieces. Um, all of my, Some of my really decent vintage pieces have come from Phil. Now, I know some people out there are squirming because I'm opening this, but the box isn't in the best condition, and this is going to be going into my cabinet so it's going to get well looked after but i am an opener and there it is so it is the toyota celica and there's several variations of this this is the dark window version but they do do a light window version and obviously it has opening doors as you can see but not a lot to see because it is dark in there and again that side so pretty cool and this piece was as far as i'm aware of came out about 92 to 93 so loads of suspension as you can see but cool little piece so the rear lights are part of the interior and the front lights there is none because the front lights are actually pop-up <laughs> but like i said cool piece and it is now free from its prism so, like I said, that will be going to my collection, to my vintage side of the collection. And whilst we're on about some of the older pieces, so, like I said, this is what I showed earlier. So, I said, this is one of my favourite pieces. And it's from a similar era. It's a little bit uh, earlier than this piece. Like I said, this is from about 91. I think this is 92 to about 93. I can't remember, but I know it definitely came out in about 92. Whereas these particular pieces were slightly earlier. But I'm sure they did run into the 90s. Um, and then obviously another older piece. Which is in um, uh, amazing condition. Is this little dump truck. And so it's pretty cool. And I'll show you the packaging they came in because I kept one sealed up. So when I got these three pieces, I actually got this at the same time. But as I already have this piece with the extra trailer that comes with it, um, I decided I wasn't going to open this piece because even though I'm an opener, uh, these are the ones that I used to get as a kid. This is what they used to come like when I was younger. And so I thought I'd keep one just to... For posterity, just so I, you know, can because it is cool to see them, you know, as much as I like to open stuff, it is cool to have some of the stuff from when I was younger in its original packaging. So they, well, I got I got these as a as a as a job lot, and these were like this, but I obviously opened these three pieces and left this one to it, and then even older again so again i have shown this before but it is my probably my favorite piece this is from again from um, from uh, phil from diecast for you to see and it is the so fuel truck and i'll see if i can open this probably not me just open it off camera briefly because the case is old and a bit fragile so you have to just bear with me two seconds but there you go so that's some other vehicles in the range but this is a piece from the 70s like i said and, and considering it's from the 70s it is a little bit of sun damage there but it is in beautiful condition as you can see it has not been played with these aren't play worn scuffs that is just old what they call that that sort of uh sort of tampo print type type thing but it is all metal base or metal but sorry metal top uh, it's plastic base, but this is just a particular favourite. But again, so so you've got all the differences. You've got 
piece from the 70s, piece from the, about the late 80s, possibly early 90s, and a piece from the 90s. So you've got a few different older pieces there. And whilst I'm showing some of my favourite pieces, I will show very quickly again another piece that came from Tyrone. Uh, sorry, Tyrone um, from Phil. So I was watching uh, building the Ultimate Matchbox car collection. Tyrone's video before I uploaded mine. So I've got Tyrone's video on the brain. But yeah, this is another one from Phil from Diecast uh, from Diecast for you to see. And again, I hesitate that this is a later '80s piece, and obviously it is a Range Rover with its little Diecast water Bowser. But it's obviously a fire truck or fire rescue. Just have a look on the base briefly. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it just, just says Range Rover. But anyway, so that's that. So not an amazingly long video. Um, I've, already, I've I've got that's a lot of my other majorettes packed away. I have got quite a few more vintage pieces, but like I said, they are all packed away. But anyway, with that being said, please stay tuned for more unboxings vintage pieces wheel swaps customs and restorations in the future to come and i'll see you all very soon oh by the way while i'm at it check out phil's channel if you're not already subscribed to phil check out his channel diecast for you to see great guy and thanks to him this is how i've got some of these amazing pieces but anyway with that i'll see you all soon